told you I was coming here. Whack. <laughs> whack. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. That whack. I'm letting y'all know the fans know Blueface all right. All right. Well, spread the word. Blue's right. He ain't been stabbed up. He ain't been none of this shit I'm hearing him saying. Guess who might be back in the game sooner than you think? That's right, folks. Get ready to welcome Blueface back with open arms. The rapper's potential release from a Las Vegas jail has got everyone buzzing. And you won't believe the twist in this tale Whack 100 is in on the action. Word on the street is, Blueface might be walking free sooner than we expected, and we're here for it. Why are you looking like that? For real? Join us as we dive into the juicy details and speculate on what this means for the rap game. Remember when Blueface turned himself in to the authorities for violating his probation? It feels like just yesterday, doesn't it? In case you missed the memo, let's rewind a bit and refresh your memory on what led to his unexpected stint behind bars. So Blueface found himself in a bit of a pickle after a tumultuous encounter at Skinny's Lounge in the San Fernando Valley. The incident, caught on tape, showed Blueface and his crew getting into it with a bouncer. Things escalated quickly, with Face landing some hefty stomps on the unfortunate bouncer while his entourage dished out their own version of justice. Ouch. That must have hurt. What sparked this brawl, you ask? Well, it all started innocently enough or so it seemed. The bouncer had the audacity to ask Blueface for some ID. Can you believe it? Blueface, being the big shot he is, decided to Google himself to prove his celebrity status. But when the bouncer remained unimpressed, all hell broke loose. Fast forward to his court date, where Blueface faced the music for this nightclub fiasco. Unfortunately for him, things didn't go quite as planned. Despite his swanky court attire and confident demeanor, the judge wasn't buying it. Blueface was found guilty of violating his probation, stemming from that nasty brawl at the club. His underlying sentence will be a minimum of 24, maximum of 60 months, and the Nevada Department of Corrections suspended with probation not to exceed 36 months. But wait, it gets juicier. According to court documents, Blueface's probation violation was linked to an assault charge from 2021. Yep, you heard that right. Turns out this isn't his first rodeo with legal trouble. Blueface and his crew allegedly assaulted another bouncer, landing him in hot water once again. Now here's where the plot thickens. Blueface's mama, Carlissa Saffold, took to social media to spill the tea on who she thinks is to blame for her baby boy's predicament. According to Mama Bear, it's all because of the drama with his baby mamas, Jaden Alexis and Christian Rock. She even went as far as to name names, claiming that Jaden and Christian were involved in the incidents that got Blueface in trouble. Talk about baby mama drama. And it's just not giving. It's just a mess. It's a hot fucking mess. But hold on to your seats, folks, because here comes the plot twist. WAC 100, the man with all the connections, recently dropped a bombshell. He's confirmed that Blueface might just be strutting out of jail sooner than expected. Yep, you heard that right. Blueface might be hitting the streets before we know it. Now, let's talk about this WAC 100 character. If you haven't heard of him, you're seriously missing out. He's not just some random dude off the street. WAC's a big deal in the industry, known for his tight connections and no-nonsense attitude. Plus, he's been riding shotgun with Blueface for a minute now, acting as both a friend and his manager. Yeah, you heard us right, this dude wears multiple hats. Blue is in high power. Where the celebrities go? I'm LA County Jail. All right, I got eyes on him. Shout out to my homeboy, Mont Deuce from Devil Lane. So what's the deal with Blueface's early release? Well, it seems like good behavior might be paying off for our boy. Word on the street is Blueface has been keeping his nose clean behind bars, and that's caught the attention of the higher ups. Yeah, they're impressed by his newfound sense of responsibility, or so they say. But don't go popping those champagne bottles just yet. Sure, Blueface might be stepping out of the slammer, but it's not like he's getting a free pass to go wild. Nah, he's gonna be on a tight leash with every move under the microscope. One wrong step, and he's right back where he started orange jumpsuit and all. That's the game, folks, and it's a risky one at that. And let's not forget about WAC 100's involvement in all of this. Sure, he's the one bringing the good news, but something smells fishy, if you ask me. We mean, how convenient is it that Blueface's release just happens to coincide with WAC's connections? Call us cynical, but it's like something out of a movie plot. You know, the kind where the shady manager pulls strings behind the scenes for his own game. You know what I'm saying? A everybody, you done, you done made enemies with everybody, bro, like you. But hey, if you thought WAC 100's maneuvering stopped there, you better buckle up because we're just getting started on this roller coaster ride. Remember when WAC himself spilled the beans about having connections around Blueface, making sure everything's comfy cozy for the rapper behind bars? Yeah, turns out there might be more truth to that than meets the eye. According to insider sources close to the situation, Blueface's time in the slammer is anything but your typical jailhouse blues. While most inmates are stuck in cramped cells, chowing down on mystery meat, and fighting for a sliver of personal space, Blueface seems to be living the high life. Reports suggest he's got a cushy setup, complete with a private cell, access to educational programs, and even his meals served to him like he's dining at a five-star restaurant. 
Talk about living large, even behind bars. Only a real player will go to jail looking like he's gonna go to the Himalayas. <laughs> hey, good luck, man. And who do we have to thank for this deluxe treatment? Well, none other than WAC 100 himself, the mastermind behind Blueface's unexpected upgrade in accommodations. It's like he waved a magic wand and turned jail time into a spa retreat. But hold your applause, folks, because there's a twist in this tale that's got tongues wagging. See, while Wax pulling strings to ensure Blueface's stay in the clink is more like a staycation, fans aren't exactly buying into the fairy tale. Many are raising their eyebrows and questioning the timing of Blueface's potential early release. It's got conspiracy theorists spinning wild tales of backdoor deals and under-the-table negotiations. Could it be that Wax motives aren't as pure as they seem? Are there hidden agendas lurking beneath the surface? And speaking of agendas, some insiders are whispering about WAC 100's possible financial motivations in all of this. Sure, he's been waving the flag of support for Blueface, but could there be more to it than meets the eye? Rumors are swirling that WAC might have a vested interest in getting Blueface back in action sooner rather than later. You see, it's no secret that the rap game is a lucrative business, with millions of dollars changing hands faster than you can say bling bling and with Blueface's return to the scene. There's a whole lot of cash just waiting to be made. From record deals to endorsements, the possibilities are endless. Hello, my name is Yamu Sussalam from Burnsville, Maryland, and seeing stuff like this pisses me off because it's like a case of a celebrity going crazy with their ego. But here's where things get interesting. WAC 100 isn't just a manager, he's a businessman through and through. And where there's money to be made, you can bet WAC's not too far behind. Some are speculating that WAC might be eyeing a hefty payday once Blueface is back on top, cashing in on his connections and influence in the industry. It's like a game of chess with Wax strategically positioning himself to reap the rewards of Blueface's comeback. Sure, he's playing the role of the supportive manager now, but could there be a more calculating motive lurking beneath the surface? After all, in the cutthroat world of hip hop, loyalty can sometimes take a backseat to cold, hard cash. But hold on to your seats, because there's even more drama brewing in this tangled web of relationships and business dealings. WAC 100 isn't just a manager with a flair for the dramatic he's a downright scandalous figure, with rumors swirling for years about his tight grip on Blueface's inner circle. According to insider whispers and leaked information, it appears that WAC has had a stronghold on Blueface's finances and personal affairs for quite some time. While Blueface is cooling his heels behind bars, it's reported that WAC is the puppet master pulling all the strings. Every deal, every decision, it's all under WAC's control. Talk about a power move, and if that isn't eyebrow raising enough, Wax seems to be on a mission to isolate Blueface from those closest to him. Sources close to the situation reveal ongoing tensions and conflicts between Wack and individuals in Blueface's inner circle, including his baby mamas. Take Chrissy and Rock, for example. Did you notice, like, even when you hit him, we took a loss? All this lecturing, I get it. No, it's not lecturing. We can lost What's going over on? We're $2 working. million. Dollars. Right Remember when Wack 100 dropped those bombshell screenshots alleging Chrissy's involvement in a plot to harm Blueface and his family? Yeah, it sent shockwaves through the hip-hop community. But it doesn't stop there. Wax confrontation with Chrissy and on. The latest episode of Crazy and Love Paints, a picture of simmering tensions and power struggles. Oh, my manager. Only thing I'm saying is this. What? Can we keep the personal sh In the heated exchange captured on camera, Wack wastes no time laying down the law, asserting that Christine's presence in Blueface's life is bad for business. But despite Wack's warnings, Christine remains defiant, insisting that her love for Blueface isn't a distraction in defending her contributions to his success. It's a clash of egos, with Wack playing the role of the stern patriarch and Christian refusing to back down. Hold on, just handle all that, right? Wacky. Handle it. You not communicate with me. What? Can you keep the person? Amidst the chaos, one thing's for sure Wack 100 is a force to be reckoned with. His iron grip on Blueface's affairs and his knack for stirring up controversy have cemented his status as a polarizing figure in the rap game. And as Blueface's release from jail looms on the horizon, one can't help but wonder what other twists and turns await in this ongoing saga of fame, fortune, and the pursuit of power. As we dissect the latest developments in the Blueface saga, fan opinions are pouring in, painting a vivid picture of the public's sentiments on the matter. Some fans are expressing outright disdain for WAC 100's alleged meddling in Blueface's personal affairs. One vocal critic remarked, I hope Blueface fires WAC for trying to mess with Christian. Another fan didn't mince words when it came to WAC 100, expressing, WAC needed a beatdown for a long time he needs to be put in his place. Who does he think he is? Bullying other people's kids. Before we wrap up this roller coaster ride through the world of celebrity drama, we want to hear from you, our loyal viewers. What are your thoughts on WAC 100's involvement in Blueface's affairs? Do you believe he's a guiding hand or a manipulative puppeteer? Drop your comments below and let's keep this conversation going. Until next time, stay curious and stay tuned.